They seriously decided to call it the Pixel 5a 5G. What's going on everyone, Matesh here. And guys, if you were paying attention to tech news about Pixel phones on Friday, you guys got a lot of conflicting information. So first of all, we started off the day by finding out the Pixel 5a was canceled. That was first reported by John Prosser over on his Twitter account. That's where I saw it first and I was like, oh really, that sucks. Now, John explained it, but the fact that there's a global chip shortage and he'd gotten word from his um, uh, sources that the phone was canceled. Later on, this was also confirmed by Android Central, who got this independently from two other sources, so it seemed like at that point the Pixel 5a was going to be completely cancelled. You know, I mean, it's kind of understandable. There is this huge global chip shortage. Like, if you've noticed, car manufacturers cannot make cars because they can't get chips that they want to. And if you guys have been trying to buy a graphics card like I have been, you know you're kind of out of luck. I'm stuck with my 1070 and that kind of sucks. Like. All computer parts at this point have just gotten ridiculous because of the global chip shortage. So it kind of made sense, you know, maybe Google decided to cut out this phone because even though it is their best selling, it's just the fact that they don't make enough margin on it and they're doing their own custom SOC for the next phone, the Pixel 6. So maybe they decided to just nix the Pixel 5a line. Well, turns out that's not the case. So a couple hours later, we got reports from Google. Google actually made an announcement, hey, Pixel 5a 5G not canceled. Now, that's kind of weird, right? First of all, they said specifically the Pixel 5a 5G is not canceled. So that's interesting because it seems like there's actually going to be no Pixel 5a and that Pixel 5a that we saw leaked, and if you guys saw my last video, you guys can see it. And I'll show you how to you guys again. It looks exactly like the Pixel 4a 5G, but I guess this is the actual Pixel 5a 5G. God, that is, it's just such bad branding, Google. Why do you need the 5G? Like it's Fine. I guess it's to differentiate between the Pixel 4a, this is not a successor to the Pixel 4a, it's actually a successor to the Pixel 5a, but most likely it's going to have worse specs and hopefully a better price. Like $500 for the Pixel 5a, 5, 4a, 5g was not a bad price, but for the A series device, like Google has a $350 phone out right now that is really, really good. And to pay extra just for 5g doesn't make a lot of sense. So I'm really hoping that they can keep that price down. But you know, once again, it's gonna be really weird when the Pixel 5a 5G has a worse processor than the Pixel 4a 5G. I think Google should have just dropped the 5G naming scheme and just gone with Pixel 5a. I mean, it's not completely official yet. This is still, they still have time to change it. Like from what I understand, they also made comments about the fact that it is going to be released around the same time as last year. So we can again expect the announcement like in August timeframe and hopefully it comes out in August as well, the new phone, the 5a model. The 6 is still also expected like an October time frame because that's when they generally release the high-end device, but maybe we'll get that early too, who knows. But so that's this is what you need to know. The Pixel 5a is not canceled. If you've read somewhere that it's canceled, not the case. It is not canceled, it is still coming out, except it is no longer going to be the Pixel 5a, it's going to be the Pixel 5a 5G. There's one other caveat though. They're only gonna release this phone in the US and in Japan no other country. I don't know why Japan, I guess they sell a lot of Pixel phones in Japan as well, but it's tough for every other country because I mean, it's also a tough decision for Google because the Pixel 4a is by far, I think their best selling device. Now we don't actually have numbers on that out yet, but generally speaking, the A devices, the cheapest phones that Pixel lineup has, they're the best selling devices that Google makes. So the fact that they're not, only, they're only selling it in two countries versus all the countries they could sell it in, means one, I think that they actually have a lot of hopes for the Pixel 6 being a successful phone. And I think the only way it's going to be a super successful phone is if they get that pricing right. Or two, just the global chip shortage is really going to affect them and they really want to be able to give people the ability to buy this phone and they want to limit it to the two countries where it's best selling most likely. So yeah, I I don't know what to say. Like this kind of sucks with the fact that most people won't be able to get this phone if they want it. But so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick little one to let you guys know the Pixel 5a is coming. We have a little bit more concrete information about it and a name, Pixel 5a 5G, and where it's gonna come out. So yeah, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. Are you still excited about this phone or you're really just focused on the Pixel 6? Let me know down in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.